to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the people who recently subscribed to my channel and thank you so much for all the love and support you guys are giving me. It's so nice to see you guys finding my uh, tips and techniques helpful and you like the way I do my makeup. So thank you so much for that. Um, so today's video is going to be start of a holiday season. So I'm giving you guys my first uh, holiday season look and I went for a very silver smoky eye for this uh, for this holiday season well beginning of this holiday season uh, so if you want to see how to create this look just carry on watching this video and before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and I shall see you guys in my next video so have a lovely day everybody bye bye love you hey dolls uh, so welcome back to my channel um so for this video i'm going to skip the skincare and jump straight into the primer and for primer i'm using mac cosmetics skin prep and prime mixed with smashbox photo finish um primer you don't have to do this you can even use either but i like using this way because i feel like it my makeup stays longer when i mix these two products together and for my foundation i'm using a makeup forever ultra hd foundation this is one of my favorite favorite foundations especially when i want one of those flawless full coverage look this is what i go for and uh, also um, just want to let you know I again this cap, uh, step is optional if you want to do it you want uh, you can if you don't you can definitely skip it but I added a L'Oreal total cover foundation as well on top of my makeup forever um, just a very light coverage not a lot just a very light coverage but the only reason i did that because i have some acne problem going on right now and i just wanted a little bit extra coverage on my face uh, but if you only use the makeup forever one it's absolutely fine too and to do a bit of a color correcting i'm using uh, mac cosmetics broken seal in shade nc45 this is a very good way to do the color correcting because it's conceal your eyes as well at the same time and you don't have an extra product um and like extra coverage or not extra coverage extra layer on your face um i really like doing this this uh this way so i actually stopped using the color correct, uh, correcting products um but it's not like i will never use it i probably will but this is a very good way to do it as well and for highlighting i'm using uh tart cosmetics shape tape and this is in shade medium and uh, i wanted a um, a very subtle highlight I didn't want it a very like too bright highlight for this look uh, so that's why I went for the light medium uh, but if you want to add a bit more pop to the your highlight you can always add a light sand which is a bit, a bit lighter shade than the light medium and for the cream contour I'm using artist of makeup medium contour stick and I'm applying it with my artiste brush um, I, I I had these brushes for nearly over a year and a half now but I started using them a lot lately and I am literally in love with these brushes they are really cool and very easy to work with and uh, now I'm just blending all my highlighting with my beauty blender um, and I'm just going to blend ev all my highlight first and then with my MAC 134 I think so 132 or 134 brush but as a, as always I will write down every single brush in the product description below so this is a dual fiber brush from MAC cosmetics and I'm just blending all my uh, cream contour with this brush and uh, and I'm making sure I'm blending everything upwards uh, so it just gives me a really nice smooth finish and a line as well and a very sharp contour and for my nose contour uh, i use the same product but i'm using the zoeva buffer concealer buffer brush to do that and i'm just adding a little bit more highlight to on the bridge of my nose so to define the um, the nose contour and now i'm going to set my uh, under eye area and for that i'm using my mac cosmetic studio fix powder um, and for rest of the face i'm using charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless uh, finish powder and i'm using the mac cosmetics studio fix the nc40 
uh, on the to set the side of my nose and to make sure it, the contour the uh, well the nose contour is in place and it's not all over the place and it's not looking uh, any harsh lines or anything to set my contour i'm using uh, mac studio fix in shade nc45 mixed with the uh, katmandi shade and light uh, highlight and contour palette um, first of all i applied the mac studio fix to add a bit of a bronziness now i'm adding the katmandi uh, colors and i'm using my kavinik one contour brush to do that uh, to just sharpen my contour of a little bit more and to add a little bit more definition and to brighten the under eye area i've just used the banana shade from the cat mundi palette and the lightest shade from the contour colors from the cat mundi palette i'm using that to um, set my nose contour for the blush i used the two faced love flush palette and i used the pinky shade from the palette it's a really nice really nice color and I'm making sure the apple of my cheeks are actually has most of the product and whatever is left over on, on my brush I'm just taking that over on um, near my um, on top of my ears or top of my contour uh, for the highlight I use the Charlotte Tilbury highlight and sculpt palette and um, apply that with my Anastasia brush and I dampened the brush with my more Pacific skin mist hydration uh, <laughs> skin hydration mist um, and I applied the uh, just the wet brush on my face first and then applied the product on top and it just gives you extra um, strength and a coverage for my brows I use the benefit cosmetics goof proof brow pencil in shade 6 and I also mix that with the Wet n Wild um, brow powder set and I picked up the lightest shade from the palette it's more like a taupey shade and to highlight my brow bone I use the Maybelline better than skin concealer in shade 20 this is the lightest shade and it helps to carve the brow bone really nicely and uh, for my eye base i use the mac cosmetics uh, paint pot in shade soft ochre and i apply that all over my eyelid with my sigma 3d precision brush and i just make and, and i'm setting the eye base with my cat 1d translucent powder these few steps will be always the same i never change these these are my favorite favorite products uh, to highlight my brow bone i'm using the modern renaissance palette and applied the shade tempera and as a transition shade i'm using cypress umber and at uh, the first layer i'm going a very light hand for the further layers i've just because i wanted my uh, transition to be really really dark and smoky kind of thing so that's why i'm adding the product a little bit at a time so don't take a lot of product on your brush and start doing that because it will be really it will be a total mess so take a small amount and do it slowly and now i'm uh, picking up the black shade you can pick any black matte eyeshadow it doesn't have to be from cat Monday palette i just happen to have that palette in front of me so i used it so it's the black shade from the Kat Von D palette it's a matte black and i'm deepening my crease with that and also um applying this on the outer v of my eye so just creating like a um, first guideline of my smoky eye for the remaining lid i'm using natasha denona's eyeshadow palette this is a five set palette and this is palette number nine and i'm applying the shade aluminium which is a really nice really foiled silver shade i love this color i love natasha denona eyeshadows anyway but this one is absolutely stunning and now i'm picking up the shade industrial and i'm applying this just in between the black and the silver so there is like a nice gradient going instead of just blending the black into the silver uh, now I'm applying Maybelline Master Gel Drama Eye Pencil and this is in shade Jet Black and uh, just applied my liquid liner and uh, you know by now my favorite one is from Galan um, this is the one I always go to 
and uh, for the lower lash line i just applied the maybelline eye pencil a little bit on the outer v and just setting all that up with the black eye shadow uh, with my tarte cosmetics double ended tartiest eyeliner i'm using the liner end to create the inner uh, wing this just gives a little bit more definition to your eye it's just uh, it gives you a really nice effect um you don't have to do that it's optional but if you want to do it make sure it, it does it doesn't it looks nice <laughs> and for the remaining um in a corner i'm applying the shade industrial uh for my mascara i've used the benefit cosmetics roller lash mascara this is my current favorite right now um and for lashes i use a uh, bombshell style lashes from mandy lashes but i don't know i couldn't find them on instagram unless they changed their name or something i don't know i kind of missed the footage for my lippy uh, so i used the um ryan uh, lip cream from zoeir cosmetics and i applied that and also the whirl uh, lip liner from mac cosmetics setting everything with my more pacific hydration mist hope you guys like this video if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i shall see you guys very soon in my next video have a lovely lovely day everybody and thank you so much for watching <laughs> bye